Special request and a popular demand. Stay so tuned into the number one. The number one. It's a long time since I ain't done anything on this channel. Because, right, I can't just come on like some people do videos every day, every week. I can't come on and just talk stuff to the camera. I have to feel, I have to feel passionate about it. I have to be musing on it for a while. It's got to be bothering me, bugging me before I can collect my thoughts and, you know, arrange them in such a way that I can come and talk about it. But, you know, you go through dry spells where nothing's happening. Uh, I shouldn't say nothing's happening because in those dry spells, I'm actually working. I'm actually doing the life and times of a multiple media manager, which is video, uh, photography, audio, design. So sometimes I'm just working and enjoying myself working. I've gone through a, a period where I've been doing a lot of work uh, photography wise and video. And I was, I was actually shooting a red carpet the other day. It was for uh, a film awards, national film awards. I was shooting a red carpet and the presenter who I was working with, because I was, I was obviously doing the camera, she was doing the interviewing the celebs and stuff. And she was interviewing one specific celebrity and they were talking about the fact that these awards in this national film award were voted for by the public. And it was the first time that the public really had such a sway over who had got an award from who hadn't got an award. Because normally, you know, they have a body or a panel and that panel specific, um, uh, what do you call it? Professionals in that field sit around and decide who and who is going to get an award. But this time it was put out to the public. So the presenter was asking some of the celebs who were on this red carpet, what they thought about, you know, the fact that the public were now deciding who and who should get an award entirely. I mean, there was no professional body, just the, the public were the ones who decided. And most of the people, most of the celebrities were saying, yeah, man, that's a good thing, a good thing that, a good thing, yeah, man, like that, that the people are actually getting their voice represented and heard and reflected in the awards. But there was this one celebrity, this one celebrity who said something different and that really made me think. Now he said, I'm not gonna tell you who it is, right? He said, it's, it's good. I like the fact that these, and that's how he spoke. I like the fact that the public is, you know, given their opinion, but what did he say? He said, it, um, Giving the public the command to produce might not necessarily be a good thing. Because actually, you're going by public opinion, right? And if the public is an ass, then you're actually allowing that ass to direct the, creative, the creativity in any kind of work. So that really made me think. He was saying it might not be a good idea because sometimes... The best things are not popular. And sometimes the most popular things are not very good. You know, they're not very creative. So you've got to have that balance of creativity, of popularity, of creativity, of productivity, you know? The balance has got to be right. And that really made me think because sometimes, like with my channel, it's not very a very popular channel. You know, I go on there sometimes and I have a look and there may be five views, you know, I might have 12 followers, which is great. 12 followers is, is great. 12, one follower is great, you know, and I hear people say that and I, over the years I've been reflecting on it and it's true. If you've got one person listening to what you're saying, you know, agreeing, maybe not even agreeing, but it's a listening and interacting, that's great, you know. Because it's not everyone can understand where you're coming from. And it's not everyone who's going to share the direction and the view and the 
you know, the way your mind processes things. So I've always struggled with that, with, with my channel, you know? So I'd like to take this opportunity to large up all my 15 followers, big up to them. You know who you are. Is it 15? I think it's 15, something like that. But it's all good, you know, to, what did he say? The, this, this celebrity said, um, he said, Picasso, in his time, while he was alive, not many people would have thought his work was that good. I mean, I remember one day I showed my daughter a Picasso. She was doing some artwork, you know, and um, cause she's homeschooled. So we was doing some artwork and I showed her a picture of this famous artist, Picasso. And she looked at it and she was like, what? What? I can draw better than that. So that kind of like inspired her to, you know, move and grow and develop our own pace and do our own thing. And I think that is something what a lot of us, where a lot of us have to get to that position, that point where you leave the crowd, or leave chasing what is popular and discover your own fingerprints. Because each person got their own fingerprints, right? Unique to you. So therefore, with our art, with our photography, with our vid videography, with our design or whatever it is that we're doing, I think the challenge is to leave the crowd, you know, that mass online that's always telling you to buy a new camera every year. Get a new camera, get a new camera, a new camera. What is it, X-H1 now, the Fuji X-H1 is all the rage. You need to ditch the camera that you already had, the A7 III, Sony, get a new camera. But that's just, that's just um, consumerism. That's got nothing to do really with your creativity and your own personal identity. It's more to do with selling and keeping things going, you know, keeping money flowing out of your pocket into the manufacturer's pockets, you know? So the challenge is to, for me anyway, where I am now, is to find my direction, and that's what I'm striving to do with my 5D2 <laughs> and my 20 year old 85 millimeter 1.8, which I'm not going to update or replace because really from the tool is working, it's for me to make this thing sing so that's what i'm i've been spending a lot of time on my street photography i've been spending a lot of time you know working to produce to try and elevate what it is that i'm doing you know so is it popular or is it thought provoking is your product is it is what you're creating um forcing you and other people, those who view your work to look and think in ways that maybe they never thought before. That's what I'm aiming to do. So, special requests and a popular demand, you know? And I'd like to take this opportunity to large up Mr. Alex Jackson, Guan Chu, because, you know, we're kind of like interacting, and this is one of, one of, one of my 15 followers online. We're kind of interacting on different levels, you know? Messaging and, it's all great, you know, it is all great. So I think this is where it's at. This is where we've got to be taking this, this, this platform to another level where we can interact and share and grow and develop. And it's almost like, you know me and I know you. And even though we've never met, it's all good. It's all great. You know, I encourage feedback from all my 15 followers. Or is it 16 now? It might be 16 now. I'll have to check. After this, it might be 16, 17. The heady days, we're heading for the 20s. It's all good. But no, really and truly, I'm not really watching the numbers anymore. I'm not watching the numbers because numbers are numbers. You cannot, you cannot, um, you cannot equate art through stats. Just imagine you're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to use stats to define what art is better than what. This is what we do, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Art is art, it's subjective. And one man's art is the next man's rubbish. So, this is where I'm aiming to be heading. This is 
my challenge for the next six months or wherever. I might not be able to make a video every week. Uh, if something inspires me, then I will. And it's all good, because I love making videos. I love making videos. That's, that's my thing, right? The video man. I love making videos. So, but yeah, just wanted to come on and say that special requests, popular demand, let's produce the art, the creativity, the productivity with what we got, whether we are productives or whether we are creatives. So let's take it into a new direction with whatever it is that we use and make that thing sing. Special requests and a popular demand. So tune in to the number one. The number one. It's all good.